we can talk about some of that mainframe migration. So this is what I was talking for with uh, you know, a product from Google called G4, which is an automatic migra migration system. The way this works is essentially we define a, let's call it a run book of uh, those legacy systems. And, and this isn't as simple as just going in and you know, pointing at it and clicking a button and, go, and going. You have to build a good amount of work and there is a good amount of work going in there. But you know, at the end of the day, if you're saving multiple millions of dollars in uh, you know, mainframe support, it's, it's not a bad way to go. Uh, so you know, we do a, a discovery on the legacy systems, figure out you know, which environments are supported, which languages, which databases. From there, we build out essentially a automated code conversion template. And then at the end of this, we spit out a more modern language. So something like Java, which can then be deployed into our microservice architecture. Uh, and, you know, amazingly, this does actually a pretty good job. This will get us 80, 90% of the way there. So, um, you know, there's still that 10 to 20%, depending on what that application looks like. But, you know, this is a, at least gives you a path forward. It gets you out of that legacy database mindset in a way that you can actually get your application into the cloud. So if we go back and update our, our new instance here, you can see that now we have a application that runs in uh, and we removed our database with a, with a, a regular application stack. Uh, you know, obviously this is very simplified and overview, but the, the idea here is to show you that the, this is possible. This, this, we do do this a lot. This is not some, you know, magic that is out there. There is a path forward where you getting out of that technical debt and getting it to a scalable assistance. Uh, ideally too, these databases uh, would be, and I, and I guess it's a good segue to the cloud, uh, since we're running a, uh, um, an instance in our own uh, data center still of what that you know, Kubernetes looks like. Uh, and there are multiple solutions for there, things like Anthos, things like you know, OpenShift, things like uh, Platform 9. These are all you know, managed Kubernetes instances that can run in those environments.